all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i'm gonna show you guys how to optimize your amd adrenaline software on your aces or ally for best performance while playing any game and get the best quality out of the game and smoothness while you're playing your game all right so let me get into it real quick show you what's going on this is mostly for my newcomers to like windows pc windows gaming and if you're an old old school person as well then this is good for you as well just a couple stuff to show you how to tweak to get the best experience while using your asus rogue ally right so first thing i wanted to do before i get into the app is i need you to go to the search bar you type graphics on top graphics you see you should see graphic settings you click on that go change graphics settings and then in here you're gonna see like two settings in here which i think you should have on so first one is variable refresh rate add it on because that help you with your refresh rate so basically it's vrr i know you guys have heard that term before so this helps you with screen tearing make sure you, your screen and your game is in sync with like your fps make sure you have this on that helps a lot next thing is optimize for windows games this is good if you're using amd fluid motion make sure you have this on as well because with amd fluid motion there's a lot of latency and stuff like that so with this helps you to reduce that latency so I have this on as well. All right, so next, you can just open the AMD software app now. When you come in here, you're going to see a lot of presets up top. But most people, you just go to custom and then you can customize everything to your liking. All right. So you got Radiant Super Resolution. Most people use Radiant Image Sharpening as of now over Radiant Super Resolution. But it's up to you. You can use either or, but... I recommend you using Radiant Image Sharpening. You also got Anti-Lag. You don't really need this unless you're having some crazy lag issue, which is GPU bound. So only time you would, I would recommend you using this is if you have AMD Fluid Motion on in your system, you would turn this on because this helps you with the lag. It's GPU bound. So I would recommend you using it at that point. But now I would recommend you use that. All right, so with Radiant Boost, most people don't actually use this as well. I don't use it, but what it does is in fast paced action scenes, it lowers your resolution to boost your FPS, right? So right here, you'll set your maximum resolution change and it's at 50 right now. So whenever you're moving around quickly, let's say you're playing a, a action scene and you're moving around quickly, it will lower your resolution just to boost your FPS. But then you lose visual fidelity on the other hand. So it works hand in hand and it's up to you if you want to use it or not but that's the big downfall because then you might lose quality in your game while you're playing and you might not want to do that but it's up to you if you're an fps type of person then this is good because you definitely will see a big bump in different scenes but then you're going to see a uh, retraction in your visual fidelity all right all right so next with radiant chill so as it says here to conserve power and reduce heat Radiant should reduce the frame rate when your users is idle and instantly ramp it up when acts picked up, right? So when you turn this on, you could set your minimum FPS and maximum FPS. So you could set it so that it doesn't go over and the system will try not to go under. So basically it's saying that it helps you to, to reduce like heat on your system because you're setting it to a specific uh, FPS count. So this is good to have on as well, depending on what you're doing. And if you don't really, if you're not really into like a lot of FPS or whatever, to look, you can lower each one of them so that you get a, so you get a, so you get a more fluid experience and you don't have to worry about your system getting too hot in your hands. So this is good to turn on as well. So it's up to you if you want to have it on, but it's an option there where you could mess around with. Next is you got radiant image sharpening. So this is what most people use. This is the one I'm, I always have on. Most of these other settings, I, it's a game by game basis for me when I turn them on. So with rated image sharpening, you could set the, the sharpness to whatever you want, 40, 50, all the way up to 100. Once you turn it on, you will see the difference inside your game. If you turn it off, you'll see the reduction in your sharpness, but I like to have it all the way up because I like to have my game looking sharp. All right, so if you have open advanced, you will see frame rate target control. This is where you could set a target frame rate for your system overall. With anti-aliasing, you could turn this on to use application settings. Then anti-aliasing method, uh, multi-sampling, uh, metamorphical 
anti-aliasing leave that disable you don't need that on the next thing is anti-sophic filtering enable this and then once you scroll down a little bit under that you'll see a filter level you click on that there's different uh presets you got 2x 4x 8x 16x if you go with 2x you get better performance but you might lose some visual fidelity and vice versa if you go all the way up to 16x you get a higher visual fidelity but then you lose uh some performance right uh texture filtering quality when i hit on that if you go on high you'll get uh better visual fidelity again but you lose some performance which is fps and if you go down to performance vice versa you get better performance fps but then you lose some quality in your visuals you can leave this on because it says right here allows driver to override applications and choose a more optimal texture format to improve performance typically you have a minimal impact and image quality so you can leave it on just to have it running because it's not really doing anything like uh reducing your performance anyway just giving you a little bit of a boost Testulation mode i'll leave this on amd optimize so that's just that's just the default option let's leave it like that i haven't touched that with this right here, you can leave the off as well so next thing is is uh reset shader cache this i recommend you reset it now and then because if you sometimes when you load up modern warfare 3 or anything like that you'll see it's downloading the cache in the background so that helps you to run your game as smooth as possible so sometimes when you load it up you'll see it like downloading make sure you let it download before you start playing if you start playing before you let it finish download you will have a lot of stuttering so let it download and then when it says complete then you just get right into the game so this right here once you reset it it clears that out and give you a fresh set of shaders because you need the shaders for the game to run as smooth as possible so sometimes it's good for you to clear it if you're having like stutters even after the shaders are downloaded on the game if you're having issues just clear it clear it up sometimes and give you let you get a fresh download all right so next you come to display and then here you can mess with some stuff to make your display a little bit better and give you a better experience right all right so in here you should be seeing integer scaling right i don't know for some reason sometimes integer scaling it goes away it comes back it goes i don't know what's going on with that if you know of any of the issue why that keep happening can you drop a comment down below and let me know guys because i'm not sure why that keep happening and sometimes i come in here and it's here i restart my system and it's not here now it's not showing up been trying to get it to show up for a minute now i even did the registry hack to try to bring it back but it's not coming up right i don't really use integer scale in any way so it's not really a bother to me but basically it boosts your visual fidelity from a lower resolution to higher resolution but in some cases it doesn't really it's you don't really see the difference that's what most people are saying and i'm also saying that as well and when it just came out i tested it and it wasn't really impressive to me right but you should see under scaling right here if it's on your device and you can mess with that as well gpu scaling leave that on that helps you with your visual fidelity as well and i said before amd FreeSync, which is vrr leave that on because that helps you with screen tearing make sure your game is keeping up with it, your actual refresh rate of your screen if you come over here turn on custom colors you can mess with this give you a better screen color quality and stuff like that but mess with it before you get inside the game so that it could actually take effect properly right so do that and you could also get a better visual fidelity as well if you go down here you can see uh display color enhancement i usually play on a uh, vivid game gives you like a, a brighter kind of more popping color out of your display so you could go with that or you could mess with dynamic contrast or you could just disable it overall down here is just showing you some specs on your screen and like everything that's on your the system right so everything that i just showed you you could enable it by a game by game basis right so you don't have to um do it for global settings because what i showed you that was the global settings which takes effect in every game on your system but you could go on any game itself and then set a specific screen or display quality for that game or any features you want to have on like anti-log chill for only a specific game and do it like that by a game by game basis so you could do it like that as well and that should be good it's up to you if you want to do it globally or by a game by game basis 
so basically that's it guys i did a, a video similar to this before uh, a couple months ago and the lenovo legion go so this is basically a similar thing but this is for my asus people that's not trying to watch a lenovo video so same thing here you can watch this and you tweak it to your liking tweak all the games and get it up and running to your liking guys and remember what i always say guys um yeah that's basically it but remember what i always say health is wealth uh peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in and if there's anything you think i'm missing just drop a comment down below and let me know guys and let me know what's going on hit that like button if you like what i'm posting and sub to channel for more awesome content guys i'm out